All right, everybody. Welcome back. Prerequisite graphing linear equations. Okay, so this might be one of the most important things, um, you know, in all of algebra, is the fact of graphing lines. So I'm going to show you guys a real general description. I'm going to show the first example, and then also show you how you can use your calculator to help you out as well. Okay. So graphing equations slope-intercept form. Now, when we say slope-intercept form, we're referring to y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y-intercept, okay? So the slope-intercept form of an equation gives you a quick way to graph the equation. Step one, write the equation in slope-intercept form by solving for y. we got to get y by itself, okay? Um, find the y-intercept and use it to plot the point where the line crosses the y-axis, hence y-intercept where it crosses over. Um, find the slope and use it to plot a second point in the line. All you need to graph a line is two points. Once you have two points, you can then construct a line. Okay. Finally, draw a line through the two points. So we're going to take a look at our first example, graph the following equation. Right. Um, Here's my x, y axis. All right, going up and down is always your y. Going side to side is your x. Now, if you notice here, I'm going to write this again up here. You'll see this a lot. But, like, you're asking yourself, what's my y-intercept? What's tacked on the end here? Well, if you don't see anything, we could, it's safe to assume that our y-intercept is 0. Okay? Um, while I'm on the equation, let's take a look. My m, what's in front of your x? If you don't see anything, normally people assume it's a 0. However, if there's still an x here, that means that something's got to be there for it. So it's just a slope of 1. Now I've got everything I need. My y-intercept is 0. Plot a point right where y is 0. Now your slope is 1. Slope is rise over run. So up 1, over 1, plot another point. Once you have your two points, they connect the dots, you've got your line. Okay, now to show you guys via graphing calculator, this is very important, and we'll make sure we're all comfortable with it. The very top left-hand corner of your calculator is a button called Y equals. We're going to hit that, okay? Now, you want to make sure everything's cleared out of here, which in this case it is. Um, and it says Y sub 1, Y sub 2 all the way down. Well, we want to type in exactly what we see. In this case, Y equals X. So I'm back over here. The button right next to alpha is your X button. Now I've got my equation. Top right is your graph which, wouldn't you know, it looks exactly like the graph we just constructed. Now, that's all good and grand, but you do you know full well that we need to have points in order to graph our, our line. So the next trick is to hit second and then graph again. This is going to pull up our table menu, which you can see right above the graph button. And now we have a list of points that we can plot. 0, 0, 1, 1, which is what we had, and there's also some more here if you need to. Okay. This table is one of the most valuable things this calculator offers us. And we will be seeing this a good bit. So make sure you get acquainted with it. Um, try out the next few problems. See how they go. All right. Remember, if you're typing in fractions, put parentheses around them. And good luck. We're all counting on you. Keep up the good work.